to you. It is six o'clock. I'm Eric Weisfeld. And I'm Rachel Bogle. Thanks for joining us. Our top story tonight, SCDNR has officially confirmed the name of the boater who went missing 12 days ago while out on the intracoastal waterway. Tonight, the search continues for 22-year-old Tyler Doyle. Our reporter, Ali Espinosa, joins us live now from North Myrtle Beach. So, Ali, last time we checked in on you, you told us you've been seeing volunteers out there continuing that search. Now, as we can see, it's getting dark as we're nearing the end of the day. What are you seeing at this point? Rachel, right now crews are starting to wrap up their search for Tyler Doyle here at the T. Craig Campbell boat landing. Now crews tell me they have not found Doyle as of yet, but take a look at this new video I shot within the last hour of the search for him today. Now as of January 26, rescue crews say they received a call about a boat taking on water near the Little River jetties where I'm standing right now. One person was rescued, but Doyle has been missing ever since. As of today, SCDNR and the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office are continuing to search with their boats off the coast of Brunswick County. And just last week, Oak Island Water Rescue found some of Doyle's belongings along the coast of North Carolina. But SCDNR continues to be the lead agency in the search for Doyle. Now, while the search for Doyle has ended for today, it has not ended overall. We will continue providing you live updates both on air and online at WMPFnews.com. Live in North Myrtle Beach, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.